Alright, so this is a tutorial on getting a vehicle from Blender all the way to working in Unreal. Um, uh, let's see, so first step you want to do is make sure your Blender scene is in centimeters. Uh, metric degrees, 0 0.01. Uh, oh, and you'll notice like the grid is now clipped. I can't see it. It might be hard to see on a recording, but bumping this up to, oh, and this menu is open by N, uh, I don't want to type in, open, uh, press N to open that for Blender noobs out there, uh, 100 meters, uh, so let's bring in our vehicle now, and we'll bring this guy in. Cool. So mine has uh, animation for some reason. Uh, I'm, a, I'm pressing A in object mode, selecting all. I'm gonna press spacebar, remove animation. Um, and so you want your car facing on the x-axis. Mine is not. Uh, if you're using a car off Turbo Squid or some online thing, it's there's could be a very good chance yours not facing the right way either. So this is good. Um, how I rotate it is if yours is in pieces like mine, the way I do it is uh, I click on the body, I select all the pieces, I hit control P to parent, uh, attach them all to the body. Let's rotate this guy to face down the x axis. And there we go. Um, and then I'm going to actually unparent everything. Clear parent. Whoops. I want to click the keep the transforms though. There we go. So got it facing the right way. Um, let's add the skeleton now. Uh, armature. Sorry. <clears throat> so by default it's going to probably be pretty small. If your vehicle is to scale and mine is, you'll probably notice the armature is really tiny. Uh, I bumped mine up pretty exaggerated so that you can really see it. Now these got to be rotated. These have to be facing a certain way. Um, I believe it's, yeah, you want your bones facing this way. So negative 90 on the, on the X. All right, anyways, so we have our arms now. We have one bone. We'll go ahead and call this guy root. Uh, I don't know if Unreal still requires it to be called root. I know it has in the past. Uh, I always just name my root button root. It's what Unreal seems to be. It's what it kind of was natively built around, I guess. Um, okay, now we need a bones for each wheel. So put this guy into you edit mode. Hit tab or use this little guy down here. Um, and make sure you have your bones selected. You can hit shift D and make four of these. Uh, I want to name this first one front left, front right, rear left, and rear right. And so now we got to move them in the right spot. Uh, these bones need to go where the vehicle's axle and wheel connect. Uh, so I already have mine set up. Uh, my calipers and my wheels are actually set up with the origin uh, already in the center so you can kind of see where you go or where it needs to go. If you grabbed a model off Turbo Squid, uh, it might even already be it's just one mesh. You might not be able if you don't, uh, here I'll just show you how to do it that way I guess. Uh, you want to grab grab your mesh, go into edit mode, and then you'll see the vertices. Uh, you probably want to zoom in, fight to see the inside vertice. Um, so do this on the inside. This is just an example, but then you could, in a, in a sense, click that little vertice in the middle, uh, and then you can hit Shift S, cursor to select it. But do that on the inside of the wheel. I suck it. I'm not that good at Blender, and I don't want to like try to find that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't need to do that though because I already have my origin set up. So I'm gonna go back and move my origin to where it needs to be for me. There we go. And so, yeah, that's where my origin goes. Ideally, that's where the axle and the wheel are connecting. Because uh, this is where it will pivot around 
to rotate going forward and for left and right when it's turning. Um, so yeah, we got the cursor there. Let's move our front left bone to it. Shift S, uh, selection to cursor, and now I gotta do it for all of my wheels. Um, Last one. Uh, oh, and, and make sure you're putting these in, I guess you probably figured it out by now, but these have to be in edit mode when you're moving them. Um, cool. So, bones are in the right spot. I don't even know if I can really see those on the other side. Whatever. Um, so now let's parent these guys correctly. So you'll see right now they're all like, I guess, straight. Uh, we need all of the wheels to be parented to the root bone. So there might be a, there might be a shortcut way to do this. I'm not sure. That's how I've just always done it. It works. Uh, so yeah, we got our armature. We got our brute. Wheels are nested under it uh, like they should be. Now we need to skin the mesh to our skeleton, to our armature. So click on the armature uh, in edit mode and then select everything, uh, A, uh, control P. And for the armature, you're gonna, uh, I do select with empty groups. You might get lucky with automatic weights. I'm not even sure what that one is, uh, but I do with empty groups. Um, and so now we have to put everything together. Now, note that this is kind of wrong. I'm doing this for the tutorial. Uh, the the, f the caliper shouldn't be part of the of the wheel because that means the caliper is going to spin with it, which is dumb. But for the sake of this tutorial, that's just what I'm going to do to go fast. Uh, I actually have these set up in, in my Unreal project with Sockety. Uh, I don't even export with brake calipers. Um, so yeah, front left. Uh, Click on, or I can show this better actually with a wheel. So yeah. So I'm gonna click. If you if you don't see this, something's wrong with your bones. I guess. Uh, I've I've sometimes forgotten that myself. I'll be like I don't see bones or vertex groups. So if you don't see these in here, it's probably because your bone is not parented. I guess I'll show that real quick. This is how your hierarchy should look at at this point. Um. So yeah, front left. Put it into edit mode. Uh, make sure you have everything selected that you want <clears throat> to be part of this wheel and then assign it. Uh, make sure this is one. Uh, that means for 100%. That means anytime this front left wheel bones, all this stuff, all this mesh vertices, they'll 100% move with it. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to do my caliper. Uh, let's, ooh, what am I doing? So caliper, front left. This guy's front right, rear left, rear right. That one should already be good. And rear right. And so everything else just goes to the root. Uh, don't even want that. As far okay so ideally this thing is skinned let's test uh, let's put it into pose mode um, and I like to move the root first just make sure the wheels are coming with it if your wheels aren't moving when you're rotating it's probably because they're not parented correctly make sure they're nested under root uh, Let's see if I just move the front left, so all the front left stuff moves with it. Rear left, that's the same. Front right, that's all moving together. Okay, cool. So yeah, this bone or this meshes. It's got bones, it's rigged, it's good to go. Um, oh, final thing. Um, 
Let's go back into object mode and uh, click on the armature. Uh, select everything and hit, like you'll see how this is just like, it's got this kind of scale that's not set to default, set to zero. Hit control A uh, and just reset rotation scale, rotation, uh, oh, location I mean. Reset it all and then yeah, make sure you're all kind of fresh, whatever. Um, And so let's export it. Uh, let me save this real quick. Uh, I guess I'll just call it the name of the car. Oh. Why didn't that say we're by default? Weird. Okay. So let's go export. Um, we just want the armature and the mesh. Uh, Z is up and X is forward. Geometry. I do face. There's multiple ways to do this. This is just how I've done it, I guess. Works, it seems. Um, armatures, yeah. You don't want leaf bones and I don't want any animation. Um, and so let me export it. This is... Underscore tutorial. Export. Cool. So, it's the Unreal time. Alright, so, I'm in 4.20.3. Uh, new project. Uh, tutorial project. Uh, I'm sure. Okay. So, I'm just going to make a new map real quick. Well, I'm just throwing a cube for a floor. Let's make it kind of big because so we're going to be driving. Um, we need a light. Where am I? And we're going to need a player start. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and make, uh, actually let's go ahead and import our stuff, uh, or our car. Where did I put mine? Um, it's a tutorial guy. So it's a skeletal mesh. Um, Everything zero. Hang on, let's make sure there's not anything I'm forgetting. I guess I can just show all my settings too for you guys. Um, yeah, I think this is fairly default. Uh, so mine don't have materials too. I set up material that vehicle has material set up on it. Now we have our vehicle. It's kind of sitting up in the air. Hmm. Huh. Uh, this origin must be. Uh, that should be okay though. Um, that's just like a pet peeve thing. That's fine though. So let's see. Let's go into the skeleton. And you'll notice our bones are there. Um. We can even, let's see, you can even turn them in this. Um, to double check. So our physics asset though, let's go into this. Uh, we're gonna need, these are, these are like collision bodies and these affect how the, the vehicle drives. Um, let's put this as a box though. So you'll have to play with these. Uh, this is, this affects its performance. Uh, See, like, let's try 400, 200, 100. I'm just going to throw something together real quick. Um, you probably want, like, a few boxes, because, uh, like, the whole vehicle doesn't weigh the same. You might want, like, you know, it heavier in the front for an engine or something like that. Um, yeah, let's turn the, I don't know why they, <laughs> they're cylinders. Uh, but wheels should be spheres. Um, oh, 
So the wheel size, uh, you can get that from Blender. Uh, oh, I already have it selected. Nice. So like I have my front left wheel selected, and I can get my dimensions right here, 64. So I can take that and stick that in for the radius of this guy. Although it's actually this divided by two, huh? Why don't it let me do that? Haha, <laughs> nice. Um, so that one's gonna be the same. Oh, weird. When I copy it, it's still the formula, it seems. Oh, no, it's not. Whatever. So, yeah, now my wheels are all. The back ones are actually bigger in the model, but whatever. I'll just do that for now. Um, so now we got wheels, or. <laughs> Terrible physics body is set up. Uh, here, let's go ahead and start working to get this thing to move. Um, I'm going to save all right here real quick though. Uh oh. There we go. Think it would take this long. How big are these files? What is happening? Okay. So let's make our vehicle class. Uh, wheeled vehicle, it's a pawn. That's what we want. Uh, my car. Oops. So let's go into my car. Uh, we have our mesh, is the Lamborghini now. Um. Oh, the mess needs an animation. We'll come back to that. Uh, that's important, though. If yeah, we'll come back to it. Let's see, vehicle, um, wheel setup. And this is also important. So wheel class. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's make our own. Um, so another blueprint. We want a just a wheel, vehicle wheel. Um, and we actually need two of these. This will be the front wheel duplicate, and this will be the back wheel. And the biggest difference is the front wheel is allowed to steer. The back one right here, steering angle, should not be allowed to steer. <coughs> uh, you can fine tune radius, like mine was 32. I think something like that. Uh, Whoa, why this open in a full editor? Weird. Okay, 32. Uh, oh, tire config. I think we can get away with uh, none. Uh, whatever, that's real quick. I'll show you guys. Uh, this is a, this does affect how sticky it is. So it's a data asset uh, tire config. <coughs> uh, tire config. Well, let me call it that. All right. And you'll notice this one, it's... Uh, why won't that let me edit? What am I missing? I remake that. Um, miscellaneous data asset. It is tire config. Which one's tire type? Am I getting these mixed up right now? Strange. Okay. So yeah, now I can add my, my friction scale. And just by setting this number, I'll make the tire stickier or not. I'm just going to keep it at one, though. So back into... Oh, no, back into the wheel. That goes into the wheels. So back wheel, front wheel. Let's open both of these guys. Back wheel is going to use our... That's our tire config. Uh, this guy is going to use the same one. Front wheel and seeing the front wheel, that one's allowed to turn. So we'll leave that at 70. 
Um, so now we have our wheel glasses. So back into my car. I don't know why my editor is opening in full, <laughs> like, editor or not, or blueprint browser. So back to the wheels, we have our two front wheels, which are front left, front right, and we have our two back wheels, which are rear left, and these have to be the names of the bones. So if you didn't name yours FL, uh, like if you didn't name them like I did, make sure you're using your actual bone. They should match what's in the, uh, which in the skeleton mesh. These have to match these guys. Um, rear right. So we got our wheels set up. That's good. Um, and let's see if I can get this driving. I should be able to drive it without the animation. Because I'll show you guys. Because this is a common thing I see on the forums that people don't know why their wheels aren't turning. Um, okay, yeah. So into the car. Or first we actually need to go set up inputs. So project settings. Um, inputs. These are access mappings. Because um, this allows you, like, with a keyboard, it doesn't really make sense. Throttle. But with a, uh, like, an actual gas pedal or actual steering wheel, uh, you don't have, it's either one or negative one. You can actually do, you know, less or more than that, I guess, whatever, with a steering wheel. Um, sorry, I can't think and type at the same time. Like this one, yeah, so going forward will be a positive one, going backwards or braking will be a negative one, um, and this one will be steering, uh, and going left will be A, going right will be D, um, and I'm going to do going left, negative one, I feel like that's just when you're looking at a graph, going left is going negative normally. Uh, going right will be positive one. Um, so that's good. We got our inputs. So now in the my car, just the event graph, because uh, actually that doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and grab our input. Oh, why am I typing input? I should type throttle. <laughs> Steering. Okay, so now we got our input actions. Um, well, yeah, let's go. Ahead. Yeah, because this is a pawn. Well, the V. This is a wheeled vehicle. It it comes from pawn. That's what the symbol is. Um, that's what all. Well, well, actually, no. These work in anything. Actually, blueprint wise. Never mind. Just that doesn't matter. Um, we want to grab vehicle movement. We want to say set. Oops. Set throttle. Or now this is something weird, um, because I, my the game I'm making is a dedicated server, and you would think you would have to call this on a dedicated server, but you don't. Uh, it's it's client side. It's like it almost seems like it's got replication built into it. I'm not really sure. Um, something to note though for the guys that are actually going to be networking this. Um, and that's what I'm kind of going to say too, because it drives a pawn. This will be. Uh, it's a rep. Uh, I'm not getting into a replication uh, lesson. Let's. <laughs> I'm gonna stay focused. Oh wait, this should be set the steering. So save. Um, now we need a game mode. Actually, we might not. Can I just set my pawn this way? Yeah, okay, we'll make our own game mode. Um, my game mode. And our default pawn will now be our car. What I call it, my car? Where's that thing? I just set it this way. There we go. So ideally when I press play, I should be able to throttle. Oh, hang on. We need a camera. Uh, otherwise, we'd be like in this weird 
I think zero zero spot. Um, so first I want to add a spring arm and then add a camera. It should be automatically nested for me. Yeah, it is. Good. So let's move this up. Hmm, let's put it like at the top, rotate it a little bit down. Uh, looks like it needs to be a little bit bigger. We'll go like, I don't know, 500. <coughs> um, and there's settings in here to let it kind of like, you know, slowly move, stuff like that. Uh, play around with the swing arm settings. Uh, let's see if I can find all the time. Enable camera lag. Yeah, I, I don't care. That's You can play with those settings. That's not important for the tutorial. Uh, let's see. I should be able to play now, though. Ta-da. Can I drive? Actually, I don't have anything in this level. I can't tell where I am. <laughs> Let me just put some cubes in real quick. Just so I can get some depth. Some big old squares. We'll just put two out there. Oh, so let's see. Let's run. And I am not driving. I don't think you need animation be able to drive. We'll go ahead and set that up though. Uh, maybe this needed. So uh, we want to create, yeah, create and a blueprint off the skeleton. Um, it'll automatically name it whatever the skeleton is underscore anim, which that name's like too long now. Whatever. <clears throat> and so in here, you gotta make sure though your parent is a vehicle anim instance. Um, let me see, get the mesh space ref modes. Uh, and this is, if you don't do this step right here, make sure your vehicle, you won't get this node, uh, the wheel handler node. And this works kind of automatically behind the scenes based upon uh, your wheel setup that you use. I'm uh, being picky. Okay. So did that let us start to move? No, it didn't. Uh, I'm missing something. Let's see if our inputs are coming through. Oh, <laughs> that would do it. Okay, cool. Now I'm in my really wiggly Lamborghini. This thing is super loose. Uh, you can't see the wheels though. So for now, I'll just rotate this thing to the side so we can see the wheels. Ooh, they're not moving. Something is wrong. Oh, we never assigned the animation. <coughs> Whoops, that's the game mode. I don't want that. Get out of here. Um, back on the mesh, like I was saying in the very beginning, this guy is now, I think that's the one I made. Oh no, Lamborghini, that's the one I made. Yeah, make sure you have your anim class set correctly. And then we should get wheels. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and my brake calipers are probably in there spinning with them. Oh, and that's the thing too. You'll notice, see these wheels, how they get real blurry. Um, this is also on the forms I see a lot. People get this far, and then they get pissed because their wheels are blurry and they don't know how to fix it. This is actually caused by, oops, this is caused by a motion blur. Um, and there is ways to turn it off in the mesh or individual pieces. I haven't bothered to figure out because I don't like motion blur to begin with. I just disable it in my project. Um, motion blur, kill it. And then, so, well, these rims are kind of, yeah, these rims are kind of ugly when they're moving, but you can hopefully see the difference. It's The tires are smooth at least. So, yeah, ta-da, I think uh, I'll end the tutorial here. You got a car, uh, this should get you going at least, you can drive around in Unreal. So, if you like the video, hook me up with a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.